one great Greek philosopher told us that a life that is not examined is not worth living. An unexamined life is not worth living. The rich young man in the gospel examined his life a lot. He examined his life a lot and at every examination, he was always convinced that his life was speaking so well about him. If he would be asked, if your life speaks, what does it say about you? And he was very sure that he has been obeying the commandments since his youth, that he has been obedient since his youth, and he is aware of it. He knew that he was obedient. He knew what not to do. He knew what to do. And he was avoiding the things that should be avoided. And he was doing the things that he should be doing. What does your life say? And his life said he was doing very well. But salvation is more than what your, your life says. Salvation is to ask, what does God say? Ito po ang palaging payo sa akin ng aking tatay. Kahit anong mangyari, palagi niyang sinasabi, may, may dahilan ang Diyos. May dahilan ng Diyos. Kung mayaman ka, may dahilan ng Diyos. Kung nahihirapan o may sakit, may dahilan ng Diyos. At ang importante, alamin mo ang dahilan ng Diyos. Mayroon tayong dahilan, pero mayroong mas mahalaga kaysa sa ating dahilan. Ano yon? Kung ano ang dahilan ng Diyos. The man was rich. But he could not ask the question, Panginoon, bakit po ako mayaman? Kung siya ay mahirap, dapat din siyang magtanong, Panginoon, bakit po ako mahirap? What do you want to tell me, Lord? What do you want to tell me, Lord, in my sickness? What do you want to tell me, Lord, in my success? What do you want to tell me, Lord, in my defeat? What do you want to tell me, Lord, in this pandemic? What do you want to tell me, Lord, in my security and safety? What do you want to tell me, Lord? Lord, you're telling me something. And I hope I am listening that I am not only listening to my own voice because I need to listen to you. May sinasabi yung pandemic ayon sa gobyerno. May sinasabi yung pandemic ayon sa scientists. May sinasabi yung pandemic ayon sa mga negosyante, ayon sa politiko, ayon sa mga may hirap, ayon sa mga bata. Pero... Ano ang sinasabi ng Diyos tungkol sa pandemic na ito? Ano ang sinasabi ng Diyos tungkol sa kayamanan mo? Ano ang sinasabi ng Diyos sa paghihirap mo? Ano ang sinasabi ng Diyos sa online class mo? Ano ang sinasabi ng Diyos sa lahat ng nangyayari sa atin? May sinasabi ang Diyos. May dahilan ang Diyos. At hindi tayo makakarating sa kahulugan ng buhay if we forget to ask, Lord, what do you want to say to us? In everything that happens to us, God is telling us something. It is not enough to read what the columnists write. It is not enough to read what the surveys show. It is not enough to read what the other countries are doing. Lord, what do you want to say to us? 
Lord, what are you telling us? Not what we say, but what you say. Not what the others are telling, but what you tell. Brothers and sisters, that was the problem of the rich man in the gospel. That young man who wanted to be saved. He was examining his life. And he knew about his life. But he was not in touch with the Lord. He knew what his life was saying. But he was not ready for what the Lord was saying. That is why his face fell. And he walked away sad because he had many possessions. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today I only ask you to confront the Lord and say, with what is happening in my life, with the death in the family, with the bankruptcy in business, with the insecurity of getting sick, with the cremation that we hear, Lord, what are you saying? What are you saying to us? The world is so noisy. Lord, I cannot hear your whisper. I am too busy. I have no time to listen to your whisper, Lord. Lord, what are you saying to me? Alam ko po, Panginoon, may dahilan ang lahat. At alam ko, ang dahilan na nanggagaling sa inyo ang magbibigay ng liwanag sa lahat ng pinagdadaanan ko. Lord, ano po ang ibig ninyong sabihin para sa amin? Talk to us, Lord. Speak to us, Lord. Lord, what do you want to say? Lord, what do you want us to do? Tell me, Lord, and I will do it.